Hi everyone, I'm Benjamin and this is Asia Advisors Network. Today we are very pleased to have Dei Kalok or more commonly known as Jia Le hello, with, us, hello everyone. with us today to, to share some of his insights. Why are you focusing so much on, on personal branding and on social media? Alright, uh, Ben, the reason why I focus so much on personal branding and social media is because I want to steer my business from client uh, hunting model. Client hunting model means you look, you look for clients who are ready to buy to a client attracting model whereby clients who are ready to buy look for you. Yeah, so this has always been um, what I wanted to achieve and I got inspired by this mentor called Eric Fung who, who pitched this to me two and a half years ago. And um, you know, when you, when you do that, what you do is that um, your positioning is also different uh, when you are with your clients. Yeah, when you, your clients look for you, the position is totally different from when you look for your clients. So if I can summarize, it's, um, it's um, commodity versus authority. Yeah, I want to be viewed as the authority in the industry rather than just a commodity. A lot of times when it comes to social media, mm. people feel no or people feel I'm spending so much time on it. Okay. What's the results? So maybe you can share with us how has it positively impacted uh, how has it positively impacted your business? So far, just to give an average, I have received about one client per week who are ready to buy insurance or who, really, who, or who are ready to talk about insurance. Sure. And these are people right. that you didn't know and they approached you because of what you have done on social media. Yes, yes you're right. Yeah, it could be people who are not, uh, are not acquainted with, totally, total strangers. It could be um, clients who refer their friends to me passively without me prompting. It could be client who suddenly realise they have a need and they come look for me. Correct. So without my, my uh, prompting on my end, uh, these leads I am receiving about one once a week average. Okay. Uh, so I think social media branding has helped me to lessen my time to look for clients and I can use that time to create more content, high value content for my clients. Maybe can you share with me your, your mm. greatest challenge or the greatest difficulty mm. um, when you started and, and through this journey of trying to do more online? Number one, I would think the greatest difficulty is to have time. Yeah, to find additional time to do social media. It's not easy because social media is not my brand butter. Or rather, it's not advisor's brand butter. Social media is a site. Yeah, but it's a full site. It's like a full-time job altogether. So you have to balance between running for sales and doing social media, which is not easy at all. I've gotten quite a bit of, um, uh, you know, like my wife complaining. Uh, so time is, is one essence. And another is to constantly find, out, find uh, you know, uh, content to, to, to launch and to put out there, which is not easy at all, correct? So that's, that's a lot of challenge. Th these two are enough to keep me awake all night, yeah. Social media is also a double-edged sword, yep. right? Um, have you received any negative comments on, on what you have done? So far, I must admit not so much, not so much. Um, at least there's no one particular one that I, 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 will, I recall offhand. Mm -hmm. I think hearsay, hearsay, there will be people that say that oh, social media is just a fluff. Mm. You know, ultimately, you want to bring in the results, the production is what counts. Mm. Yeah, so that's what I'm working towards to ensure that social media will bring in the results, bring in the production uh, on a very consistent basis. Okay. So to answer your question, no, not, not so much of a negative um, uh, remark so far. Um, I try to keep my content very neutral so that um, I don't you know, unknowingly offend anyone in sure. the process. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So maybe you can share, how do you motivate yourself um, when, when you are rushed for time mm. or when hey how come I'm doing so much but there are not results that uh, I was hoping for or I wish to be very honest last year I kind of burned out doing social media because I was launching or producing um, about average a video a week a, on the second half of the year so second half of the year uh, last year I, re I launched about 22 videos and I did not get much results from there yeah so I thought like you know value that you put out in the market will translate to your income, right? 
but it did not really pick up last year and I was doing a lot of work without seeing a lot of imp, uh, you know um, uh, you know rewards or fruits of the labor so I got a bit disappointed and what I did is I, I kept I kept my my passion there um, by saying that you know this is what I feel that the industry really needs because I feel that the industry right now is still full of jargons and um, still full of uh, complicated uh, complex concepts yeah so my, my dream is to simplify this concept so easily that even eight years old can understand yeah even eight years old can easily understand the concepts and I think that will be a success um, you know successful for me yeah so I kept that goal in mind and I, I went for a long holiday and then I came back fresh and restarted my purpose yeah, so that's what kept me there. And of course, winning the award reignited my, my flame and, and that kept me going.